time for your domestic dish, and it's the latest snack craze, but if you're not careful, it could get out of control. Remember what a big deal it was when Pinkberry opened in Denver, don't we all? It's so yummy, but now you've probably noticed many other yogurt shops all around the metro area. There's Yogurtland, Peach Wave, Yogurt Guru, plus the Pinkberry, and there are so many others. So the real question is, just because it's yogurt, does that mean that it's healthy? Well, HungryGirl.com, I love this website, says, read before you spoon. Go on the yogurt store's website ahead of time, and if you can't do that, ask when you get there. Usually they'll give you the nutritional information. They usually have it printed out. Also remember, serving sizes can be deceiving. A half a cup is usually what's listed in the calorie counts, but when was the last time you had eight, tablespo eight tablespoons of frozen yogurt? Uh, I was one. One years when old. you were what? Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, right? I mean, but they're ruining like, it for me. I thought that was a healthy thing. You mean I can't have a giant bowl of frozen yogurt? If you have That's eight not good? tablespoons, you're okay. Okay. I usually stick to the fresh fruit, and then we have like one sweet on it. Just be careful because it can get out of control. Marriage might actually save your life. A new study finds that marriage boosts the survival odds for both men and women with colon cancer at every stage of the disease. Researchers from Penn State and BYU found that those married had a 14% lower risk of death. Some say married people are just a little more aggressive with their treatment, so that's how they justify the study. But Makes sense. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Marriage can do some many good things. Sure. Have you ever been to the Denver Children's Museum? Have you been lately? I'm so excited to check out their new 321 blast off exhibit with my kiddos. You can build and launch and test your own rockets, hovercrafts, and other flying floating devices to learn all about the principles of flight. And guess what? Today, I'm giving you free tickets to the museum for your family, so here's what you got to do. Go to our Facebook page, say anything you want about the Children's Museum or 321 Blast Off, and I have a couple of family packs to give away. So just have, hot on, head on over to our Facebook page. We are Colorado's Everyday Show. Like us and say something about the Children's Museum. Great place to take the kids this Fantastic summer. Fantastic place. Love it. Every parent wants to instill a love of movement in their kids at a very young age, right? Absolutely. A new book called Tiny Toes, a creative movement class for young children, provides a step-by-step -step guide for building strength, agility, and self-confidence through a special technique. And the author of this book is here with us today. She's a professionally trained ballerina, and she's written this book for kids. Her name is Megan Grubola, and she's going to tell us all about it. Hi, Megan. Hi. Good to see you. So tell us about Tiny Toes. Um, it's a whole dance class that you can do at home with your kids, and there's lots of fun exercises in it. Kids aged 2 to 5 should have 30 minutes of vigorous activity every day. So this is a great way to do it. They can dance like animals, dance in outer space, and I'm going to be doing a lesson, a demo of my book at Barnes & Noble in Glendale at what, 11. What I love about this is it's like a picture book, so you can flip through it and read it with your kids, but then it also has complete demonstration mm -hmm. of so many of these moves. Yes, right? it's tailored to the parent, and there's a CD in it, so you can listen to the music with the kids. And eventually, as they get older, they'll be able to do it all by themselves. Now, you had stretching stuff in there, too, and the pointing of the toes? Yes. And all that stuff. How cute is that? This <laughs> kids are so cute. What, what's your favorite one, how you can demonstrate? Oh, I'm going to demonstrate? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't expect this. But I can do it. But, but you could do it. One of, t tell us Let's one see. of the moves you've got in there. Maybe you could do... Can't you just see how we're doing this? Well, you're, going, you're about to now. Well, how are our pink flamingos? Can you stand on one leg? See? <laughs> See? Perfect. That's okay. With Flamingo. your kids, and you will win them over. I think that's pretty good. I did we okay love there. It. Yeah. And you've got music in there, too. Mm -hmm. So you play the music when you go through yeah. some of these things? Each page has its own song, and the music isn't that kiddie music that's so repetitive that it gets annoying. It's uh, piano music. There's a little bit of jazz mixed in there, musical theater music. So It's all about just getting them interested and getting them moving, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. It's so important. We, it's a beautiful book. So thanks Thank for bringing you. it in and showing us. You're signing the books. And doing the demonstration in Glendale tomorrow, is that yes, right? Yes, at 11. 11 o'clock, so good luck with that. Thank you. And uh, there's the information, Glendale Barnes & Noble tomorrow at 11 a.m. And the book is called Tiny Toes. Tiny Toes. Thank you. Did you come up with that? Yes. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, we'll be right back.